Good morning, Southfield, and a happy belated Cinco de Mayo. I'm Sean Okula. And I'm Connor Vaccarello, and a happy belated May the 4th. Connor and I stopped by the elementary school to film for their science fair, but we were starstruck. Sean, yeah. I haven't washed this hand since it touched News 12 Doug Geeds. Same. I am here. I see Doug Geed. Doug Geed is standing right over there with the robotics people. The mysterious, illustrious, scrumptious Doug Geed is over there. Let's go take a closer look. Now I heard you got to speak to Doug Geed earlier. How, how, how did that go? Dude, Doug Geed, he's the coolest man alive. Now Dessa, I heard you talked to Doug Geed. Did you? Yeah, but he's just so cool. Have we talked to Doug Geed yet? No, not yet. Okay, get out of here. Leave, leave. Oh, look at me, I'm Doug Eats camera guy. I have a bigger camera than some of you. Like, I don't know what, he drinks Dos Equis. He's the most interesting man in the world. Go, keep going. So I was out there, and he was out there. And we met eyes at one point, and it was, it was amazing. <laughs> We just Wait. met Doug Eden. It was great. It was amazing. We he shook, Doug he shook my hand. I introduced, I introduced myself. I introduced myself. We met and Doug. He said my name. He said my name and he looked in my eyes and it was oh my god. We met Doug It was great. Love you, bro, Doug. Mike Jimenez. Aiden Vandenberg. Cash. Cab. Round two. We are playing for in the cash cab. I am here with Gensler and Paige. And we are playing for Galati Bucks once again. Here we are in the second edition, and you have a chance to win Galati Bucks, redeemable at any Galati store. And here's the rules of the game. Those of you guys who've never played before, you get three strikes, you're out. This is the driver's head edition of the cash cab. Alright, so we are going to start. Paige and Michael. First question that we have. Which city has the largest population in the world? I mean, I guess I go with Beijing. Which has sure. the largest population in the world? I mean, New York City has a lot of people, but it's not New York City. Um, uh, somewhere in China. Yeah, probably. Beijing. You want to lock that in? Sure. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The correct answer is Tokyo, Japan. Question two. It's still a chance for 100 Galati bucks. How many chambers are in a dog's heart? How many chambers are in a dog's heart? There's probably there's like four in the human so that means it's probably like. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna go with five. Final answer? Pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, can I lock that in? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Strike to me. What breed of dog is Snoopy? Beagle. I locked that in. Lock that in? You are correct! Nailed it! Clap it, clap it up, clap it up. Yay! You are correct. Gymophobia means what? A fear of public nudity? Uh, public places? Bacteria? Or plants? I guess I'd say bacteria. Just because I guess it's kind of like what a dumb person uses an answer because it sounds like germ. Do you want to lock it Wait, in? Wait, bacteria would be, no. Uh, I'm going to say, uh, what was the first one? Uh, nudity? Nudity. Okay. Gonna, I yep. locked that in. I locked it. You are correct. Nudity. Nice. Woo! Clap it up. Clap it up. In the U.S. military base, Area 51 is located in which state? Nevada. We're gonna... Nevada. We're locking it in. Nevada. 300 Galati bucks. Correct. Correct. All right. You guys have earned 300 Galati bucks for a chance to double your Galati money and get to 600 Galati dollars. Woo! What famous female singer died of an alcohol poisoning in 2011? What famous Amy Winehouse singer? She drove over to stop. We well, it wasn't. It wasn't. What's her face? It wasn't Whitney Houston. That was like she 2013. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with Amy Winehouse. You're gonna lock in who? Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse. You are correct. You have won 600 Galati bucks. Why are you guys not clapping? Yeah. <laughs>
Here's David and Nolan with what to expect with the weather next week. I think the weather's going to be moderate this week. Uh, it looks like it's going to be springtime the whole time. And also, the entire week, it's going to be May. So that's something different for this week. That's just my opinion. Let's go to Nolan on the streets. Yeah, hello Dave. I'm outside right now under this wooden sculpture. It's really nice. Uh, oh God. There's something falling from the sky. Uh, it's wet. It smells like water. Yeah, I think it's water. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know. With all this falling happening, it does seem that they're forming miniature bays within the sidewalks. My friend Mr. Worm is dead. May he rest in peace. I knew you for like five seconds. We were homeboys though. Back to you guys. Thinking about joining Solo TV next year? Let's take a look at Nolan's promotional video. Media is in everything we do. It's in the fiber of our very lives. Whether it be through the powerful computers that fit in the palm of our hands, or the televisions that sit at the centerpiece in every family's living room. The subject of media is one that is twisting and ever-changing. Here at Soho TV, our challenge is to grasp the fundamentals of the industry and help students better understand how to enter into the field. By giving students the equipment and mentorship, we hope to entice students to join the film industry and bring new ideas to the table. By joining this class, you are getting a foothold through the door to becoming a professional actor, director, editor, or even a producer. So join this class today and open up a new horizon and expand your knowledge on the ever-growing subject of TV, film, and media. And you may get to meet Doug Geed. The scientific equation perplexed by the exterior motion of the cylindrical platter based on a motion by a non-elliptical orbit of the square root of 69 says that the elementary school science fair was last week. <laughs> Sean O'Cool here at the Elementary School Science Fair. We're looking around at all the experiments. We're gonna we're gonna find a winner today. Is it a real tree? Well, it used to be one. I mean, it was probably cut down. What criteria goes into uh, judging each of the projects? Well, we'd like to talk about the scientific method. You know, science always starts with a great question, and um, that's what Please scientists don't do. Try to fix me. Love me for who I am. That's not a guitar. Here's Connor with the Peep Exhibit. Hi, Connor Vaccarello here with all the Peep Exhibits. Now all these kids have recreated their favorite stories with the Peeps, the adorable little candies. From Alex Stormbreaker, Cinderella, Where the Wild Things Are, Charles Dickens, A Tale of Two Cities, and... Oh my. Here's Anthony Jimenez. Now, Anthony, what's your favorite color? Um, green. Hey, look, it's Joe Sapp. Hey, Joey Sapp. This is your science project? Folks, I think we found a winner. And I'm trying to read the handwriting. I don't know what it's about, but you know what? You know what? It's scientific. All right, well, for Solar TV, I'm Sean Okula. And I'm Connor Vaccarello. Make sure to join us next week.